Hello everyone and welcome to the city of João Pessoa in the state of Paraíba in the northeast of Brazil. I'm on another city tour which is great. I'm really getting into my city tours now. They're really interesting ways of seeing the city. And at the moment I'm in a place called Cabo Branco. Uh, and this is basically the area that is the furthest east on the whole of the South American continent. So it's uh, geographically quite an important place and it's the place where the sun rises first. Yeah, this is our first stop on the tour that we're doing today. And yeah, it's really hot, really sunny. So this is a monument that they've put up to commemorate the uh, point that's the furthest east in Brazil. It's actually in the shape of the map of Brazil on the kind of east coast of Brazil. And where the star is, is where we are now in the city of João Pessoa. So this is the lighthouse of Cabo Branco, or the Farol de Cabo Branco. Um, this was built in 1972 and it's still a functioning lighthouse. So because of the geographical location of Jean Pessoa, this is a really important lighthouse for ships passing the continent of South America. And I'm told that it's actually built in the shape of a plant from the local area. Very different to a lot of lighthouses that you see. And obviously this is a, quite a famous landmark, so lots of tourists come here as well. So they've also got an artisan market here in this park area next to the lighthouse. So these artisan markets seem really popular in the northeast of Brazil. Selling products from the local area. So I got my souvenir from the artisan market. I got this lovely tea towel from João Pessoa in Paraíba. And this is a cashew fruit. So this is a local fruit from the area. So this cost me 10 reais, which is about £1.50. Um, yeah, so this is a really nice souvenir that I've got from the artisan market here. So in this stall, they're selling caipirinha flavored ice cream but it's only quarter past 10, so I think it's probably a bit early for that. We're now in the old town, or the historic center of Jean Pessoa. And they've got this interesting street of old colonial style buildings. And at the end, they've got the building called the commercial center. And we're now going into this museum, which is the sculpture museum. The history of the name of this town is quite interesting. Um, so I just saw the sculpture inside of Jean Pessoa. So he was a politician from this state, from Paraíba, and he was actually assassinated in the year 1930. So there was such an uproar and commotion about his death that they decided to name this city after him. So originally the city was called Paraíba, which is sort of the same name as the state. Um, and they changed it in 1930 to commemorate him. So this is a sculpture of a musician called Jackson do Pandeiro, and his nickname was the King of Rhythm. And he was a musician who created samba music and forró. So forró is a type of music from this area of the northeast of Brazil. So this is a really beautiful church. It's called the Igreja São Pedro de Gonçalves. And I spoke to the guy inside and he said that it was built in three stages and that it was completed in 1843. But uh, it has parts that date back to the um, 16th century and it's the oldest church in the state of Paraíba and the third oldest in Brazil.
So we've got a really nice square of colonial buildings here. And another landmark is this building called Hotel Globo, which is another historic building. So this is the view from the balcony of the Globo Hotel, which is quite spectacular. And just read a bit of information here. This is a tributary of the Paraiba River and it's called the Sanawa River. So the city was founded on the banks of this river here. So this is the Church of San Francisco, Iglesia de San Francisco, uh, and it's built in the Baroque style. And I think it was built in the 17th century, but it took a very long time to build. And this is the most famous landmark in the whole of Trumpasaur. So this is the altar of San Francisco and this is the most important part of the church and this is gold plated wood. So this church actually took 200 years to complete. So they started building it in 1579 and they completed it in 1779. And this was the time when Brazil was a Portuguese colony, so it was built completely by the Portuguese and obviously with the use of slave labor as well. But it's an amazing church, it's really beautiful. Uh, and it's one of the most interesting things that you can visit in, in Joel Passo. It's one of the main tourist attractions here, so I highly recommend it. So it's a really interesting church to visit. There's actually a guided tour that you can get for ten, um, sorry, eight reais, which is about one pound fifty, and they tell you about all the history and uh, when and how the church was built, which is actually only in, in Portuguese the tour. But just having a look at the building itself is really beautiful and really a lot of history and culture to see. <laughs> Paraíba, masculina, mulher, macho, sim, senhor. Paraíba, masculina, mulher, macho, sim, senhor. Sai pra lá, peste! Aê! Palmas pra você! Aê! So it's lunchtime and we're in Picuri Praia. So this is a, a buffet restaurant here in João Pessoa. And uh, they've got an amazing buffet with freshly cooked beef and meat. So yeah, it looks really good here. So lunch is served. They've actually got lamb. It's the first time I've seen roast lamb served in Brazil, which is cool. So yeah, this is a really lovely uh, restaurant with live music. Quite often they have free coffee and tea as you leave. So you can get espressos, cappuccinos, lattes from the bar, but if you just want a, a small drink of coffee, that you can get it for free as you leave. So I particularly enjoyed this one, it's called Bobo de Camarão, and it's like a coconut and spicy prawn stew. It's really, really nice. But the food at this place is really good generally, it's really good quality. So I'm now at the Central Artisan Market of Paraíba in João Pessoa. This is an absolutely huge marketplace with 128 shops and two cafes. So yeah, really interesting products on sale here. Lots of uh, local products, food, drinks and souvenirs that you can buy here. So I've actually swapped my tours. I finished the tour I was on today, which was the city tour. And I'm now on the sunset tour. 
So basically because um, we're so far east here in Drum Pessoa, it's a really interesting place to see the sunset. So yeah, the people who are organizing the tours, uh, the company Luck, let me switch. So the one that I did this morning was 50 reais, which is about nine pounds. And the one I'm doing this afternoon is, is about 40 reais, which is about eight pounds. So yeah, I decided to come and see this because I've heard a lot about the sunset here in Trompa, so it sounds really interesting. So this area is actually called Praia de Jacare, which means alligator beach. But it's not actually a beach, it's a river mouth. It's the mouth of the river Paraíba. And there's no actual alligators here. So it's kind of a funny name. Don't really know where the name comes from. This is the commercial area for Praia de Jacare. So lots of bars, cafes, and there's some Martin markets as well. And over here is the boat that they take to see the sunset. So I got persuaded to go on the boat trip by Ulysses, who's the guide here. So I'm going to check out the sunset on the boat as well. This is Lampion. <laughs> Maria Bonita. And this is Maria Bonita. So I'm now on the boat. We're getting ready to go and waiting for the sunset. close to sunset now but obviously it's quite cloudy but it's still very beautiful right so I <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've just got off the boat and we're now leaving Praia de Jacare. The boat trip was kind of random to be honest. It was fun and funny, like there was lots of music and dancing and things like that. Basically they do really mad things on the dance floor, so that was kind of funny. It was different, it was a bit crazy, but hey, it was all good. Anyway, I've got to get back on the bus now and head back into the Central Jean so I'm back to the hotel. So it's been a mad, fun, brilliant, wacky day in Juan Pessoa. So I originally just planned to do the one tour and I ended up doing two tours. Um, so the city tour was really fun, seeing all the different historical buildings, the colonial churches um, and the lighthouse. That was really interesting as well. And then at the last minute, I decided to do the sunset tour as well. So I wasn't completely convinced about going on the boat and then I kind of got persuaded to go by one of the tour guides. Um, anyway, it was kind of fun, but it was really mad. The Brazilians were doing some unbelievably crazy dancing. Everybody was having a really good time and really relaxed, so that was, that was cool. The weather wasn't that good, so it was a little bit cloudy. So the sunset was a little bit mixed, to be honest. It still had a really interesting um, sunlight on the on the clouds and things like that. So, yeah, I, so I got back to the hotel like really late at about seven o'clock. So I've been out the whole day completely 
on the go all day so it's been really good fun so i'm actually staying in an area called tambaul which is where a lot of the tourists stay so most of the tourists either stay in Kabul Badanka or tambaul uh it's a really interesting town jean Pessoa. there's quite a lot going on here i was speaking to a taxi driver yesterday and he told me that the majority of tourists actually come from brazil in this town itself so they don't get a lot of foreign tourists and i haven't actually met anyone or heard anybody speaking english since i've been here so he told me that the majority of people who come to visit Rampas are from Brasilia, the capital city, and Sao Paulo in the south. So it's mainly actually Brazilians that come here to visit, and there aren't that many international tourists. But nevertheless, I really recommend coming here. It's a really fun place, um, really good food, really nice beaches, really nice atmosphere, quite relaxed on the whole. It's quite a good mix between the tourist areas and the local areas. It's not too segregated like it is in some towns. So, yeah, I definitely recommend checking out Trampa. So it's an amazing city in the northeast of Brazil with a really nice atmosphere. And obviously the weather's been amazing as well. So thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.